no, fantastic. Um, to come second in the Rolex Fastnet race in the Umoka 60 class is great and a good result as, as the first race on board Artemis. Um, so really, ple really pleased, really proud and um, well, great work by, by all of the crew. Um. Well, Artemis performed quite well, especially in the first half of the race where we were sailing upwind. Um, we, we knew that would be that would be our strong point and then uh, the second part of the race where we thought we might struggle downwind in the light winds um, it was there and we need to work harder but the guys have done a great job she's already been uh, had a, gone through a refit to try and save weight and we've reduced the weight of the boat so um, we're, we're moving in the right direction and I think there's a bit more we can do before the Jacques Verbe in November. Well, it's, it's great to be racing in the Mocha 60 class as if we're racing um, in a Figaro class with all the boats really close together and contact um, throughout the whole race. Uh, fantastic leaving the Solent neck and neck with BT and then um, we manage to pass them and be first boat around um, all the points uh, round to Land's End and then round the Rock in first place. It was fantastic. Um, and then after that we just saw BT catching us, catching us and there was nothing we could do. We tried as hard as we could. Um, to stay in front and that's that's where it's fantastic because when the racing's so close we we push each other and then uh, as if as as in general we all actually go quicker well I've, I've done the fast net race three times before um, but the last time I did it was 10 years ago <laughs> it makes me feel really, really old um, and I'm, now I'm doing it in a much uh, faster more powerful boat than what I what I've previously done in the fast net race so it's fantastic being fourth boat across the finish line that's um, that's something I've never done before so that's that's great and but the fast net race it still remains the same it's still a big challenge in in sailing and um, and yeah it's one one of the biggest races of, of the calendar for for me and it always will be I think just rounding that rock is magnificent and uh, uh, it's, it's a great it's a great sight to see it kind of looming up in front of you and then see it off in the distance behind you oh it's great sailing with Sydney this is our first race together and uh, there's always a question mark when you start sailing when to someone new but it's worked really well and we have some good um, we have the same ideas about things the same feeling about sailing the boat and a good communication going already which is really important to um, well, so the, for the Fastnet race, uh, for me on board Ar Artemis this year, um, I think a success in general. Lots of fun, um, very hard work, I'm really tired, um, and it's given me the desire to go on and I just can't wait to race again on board Artemis very soon.